Hi, I'm Davis, and uh, in this tutorial I want to show you how to use the Attune Archive. The Archive is a very convenient way to store all your S-parameter files from measurements or simulations so that they can be easily retried by filtering or um, searching. If you have not activated the Archive when you first uh, installed the program, then this is how the Attune windows look. To activate uh, the Archive, uh, just go to Preferences and down here use Archive, select Yes. You get this prompt here where you can uh, choose to use an existing Archive or to create a new one, which is what I want to do. So I click here, then I browse to the location where I want to create the Archive, for instance, down here. Okay, then I create a new folder which I call whatever I want, uh, like S Matrix Archive. Okay, select uh, and then uh, press uh, next. Restart the program. Okay, and now I get this uh, new interface here which allows to, to manage uh, the Atune Archive. The interface can be easily hidden or shown by using the Hide sh Show Archive here in this menu or pressing Alt A. Okay. At the moment the uh, archive list is empty because I haven't added any file yet uh, to the archive. And there are two simple ways to add uh, files to the archive. Uh, one is uh, simply from the mini browser here, you select uh, the file you, you want to add, uh, you right click on it uh, and uh, select uh, Add File to Archive and you get uh, this uh, interface where you have to insert some uh, information about the, about the data, like the project number, let's say one, the, the user, me, uh, whether it is a simulation or a measurement and uh, a description which can contain whatever you want uh, by default it's just the name of the file uh, and you can add whatever you like like in this case I can add uh, the, the values of the components of the matching circuit plus uh, 2, plus 2 series and then press save and uh, voila! Now we have a first entry in uh, in the archive, and the other way to add uh, files to the archive is uh, simply to drag and drop them uh, on this part of the of the interface. Okay, and uh, you get exactly the same uh, prompt. Uh, choose project number two, and uh, use U, and uh, uh, just leave the default description. Save. Okay, now when you have uh, data files in the archive, uh, you can use them uh, very easily. Just uh, select the, the entry you want to use and then pros press uh, load data. And the data appear in the Atune simulator as normal. You can also select uh, multiple entries and uh, say compare. Uh, and they behave like uh, all the other um, data files you use uh, in uh, Atune. In the archive interface it is possible to, to filter uh, the, the entries uh, in the archive uh, by project number, say on the entries with for project 1, or the username, okay or search a string uh, in the description of the file, like 5 uh, and 6, uh, search. Okay, and uh, so these filtering features are very useful if you have uh, many entries in the archive. And uh, by the way, uh, the archive can easily handle uh, hundreds of thousands uh, of measurements. Atune Archive is particularly useful when it is shared between different users, for instance, between all the engineers in a, in a lab. To do that uh, is very simple. It is sufficient to create the archive on a shared folder on the intranet. Uh, 
And uh, to use uh, this share folder, uh, you just go to Archive, Change Archive Location, browse to the location uh, of the archive, for instance, uh, is this one, for example, select the index file uh, and then press uh, Open. Wait a second, and now you have all the measurements uh, online, uh, and in this case the archive contains, uh, let's see, 11,000 measurements. Now, every time an engineer adds uh, an S matrix to the archive, it is uh, automatically shared uh, with all the other users. For instance, you could ask uh, technicians to do a measurement for you and then check the result uh, remotely. Okay, this concludes this brief tutorial about the iTunes archive and thank you very much for using iTunes.